Hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson with Rivera Fine Art Studios. Uh, today I want to do part two of my uh, demo of drawing different eyes. Um, and if you had uh, seen my previous video where I had drawn this eye, I just talked about how the eye really is essentially a sphere. Um, you know, if we just look at it as a round object, the eyeball itself is a very uh, perfectly round sphere and then the eyelids just conform to that. And the way in which I've shaded this supports the idea that this is a rounded surface by the transition from light to dark in various parts, the eyelids as well as the eyeball itself. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is draw an Asian's eye. And the main difference here is going to be the way that the skin wraps around the eyeball. So remember the eyeball itself is a sphere um, and that's very consistent with pretty much anyone's eyeball the difference is what makes people's eyes different is the way that the eyelids conform to that sphere like shape so with an asian's eye uh, typically they're referred to as hooded eyes because you get um, just one big piece or one big fold of skin that just hangs right over top of the eyeball and you don't really see that upper crease uh, that separates the, the eyelid from the brow ridge like you see in the drawing over on the left that I did. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I'm just getting the shape of the iris and filling that in. Starting to look for a few darks. I'm using my vine charcoal. I'm just kind of laying in my, uh, my base values um, and I'm gonna gradually darken those as I develop the drawing, just little accents here and there. So I just put the tear duct in and now I'm adding the eyelashes. Um, and I'm just erasing a little bit. I'm making that upper line very sharp. Uh, I want that to again look like the skin is hanging over top of the eyeball. Um, so again, the shape of the eyeball is beneath all of this. Just as I've done here, I have this uh, very distinctive shading which helps to accentuate the roundness. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. So first I'm just gonna smooth out these darker values. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in and you know layer my charcoal over this. I'm starting to look a little bit for that variation of light to dark now. Um, you know, as I think of the form of the eye, the shadows are falling on the, uh, the right side, and now I'm just adding lights to the left side. So the light, the light is hitting it from the left, and as it turns away from the light, it's going to fall into shadow. So that's going to be consistent throughout the, the entire uh, form of the eye, the skin around the eye as well as the eyeball. Um, so I'm just adding that lighter value tone around the uh, upper portion of the eye and the lower. And uh, I'm looking for little highlights. I've zoomed in now so you can see this uh, a little bit more closely. But just continuing to look at my values, and now I'm adding more dark darks. So I've switched over to my compressed charcoal, and I'm really just putting those dark darks in. So with uh, Asian eyes and with African American eyes, they are very, very dark. Um, so it's important to you know get that those rich, intense darks in there. So now looking at this corner again, I'm looking for that flap of skin and I'm actually putting a little bit of shadow in there to make it look like the eye is sitting beneath that. Okay, so the next eye I'm gonna draw is gonna be very different. This is gonna be an older person's eye um, and this person has very, very heavy eyelids. This is actually uh, taken a photo of a famous uh, person, uh, Albert Einstein. So uh, I shouldn't have spoiled it by telling you. <laughs> But as I do this, I'm just gonna attempt to kind of, once again, create the shape of the eyeball. And I'm looking at the way that the eyelids conform to that sphere. Always thinking of it as a sphere in the beginning. Um, and again, the very, very wide eyes. If you look at any photographs of Albert Einstein, his eyes are very, very wide, um, very big. That upper eyelid's very heavy. Now I'm, again, putting the iris in and just looking for a few more creases and you know one thing you'll notice that's consistent with all of these drawings is the the upper part of the iris is concealed by the eyelid and the lower part shows um, and you know there are some people where you'll see the entire 
iris, if they have really, really wide eyes, um, you know, or their eyes are kind of bulging out a little bit more, you will see the entire shape of the iris, but most of the time you'll see just uh, half of the iris, and the upper half will be covered with the, um, the eyelid. Now I'm looking for the center line, okay? I'm thinking about, you know, in, in the orientation of where that iris is, um, and how that is essentially conforming to the, the round-like shape. So it's not a perfectly straight on view, it's a little bit turned, so that, um, that affects the shape of the iris. Smoothing out my shading once again, you know, I've just kind of blocked it all in with my vine charcoal, now I'm just going back in and blending it. Uh, I've added the highlight, which is the brightest light, uh, very, very light area. I'm not going to have anything as bright as that, but I am going to have a few other minor highlights in the tear duct um, and I'm adding a little bit of white to the, the eyeball and I'm going in and I'm kind of looking at some of the ridges in that upper eyelid. So uh, another thing I noticed with Einstein's eyes is that there's lots of little ridges within the, the eyelid itself and that can all be indicated with shading. Um, and that lower eyelid that ridge right there that I just put in is very bright, almost as bright as the highlight. Um, so now just kind of looking at other areas where I can add my lights. And uh, now I'm smoothing it out. So you get, you get this very, very soft uh, transition between the edge of the iris into the eyeball on some people. And a lot of times you'll see that on older people. Um, so that, that edge is really not a sharp edge, it's a soft edge. Okay, zooming out once again. So now I'm going to do uh, my final eye, and this is going to be a much younger person, but I'm going to also do this from a very different angle. So now we're going to look at more of a, almost a profile, um, but a, a very dramatic three-quarter view. So I'm drawing the shape of the eyeball, I'm looking at the edge of the eyeball, and now I'm thinking about the eyelids conforming to that shape. So again, starting with a rounded shape, thinking about where the center of that eyeball would be, I'm adding my center line in, and um, now I'm just kind of accentuating the curve, that curve on the uh, outer edge there, and the way that the eyelids conform to that, the high point and the low point of those eyelids are falling along that center line. And now I'm just kind of looking at the plane. So I talked about this in my previous video, how we have these very distinctive planes. Um, the eyelids have dimension. So, you know, looking at the lower ridge, I've added the depth of that plane as well as the upper. Uh, but now I'm just kind of going back in and shading. Again, roughing that, uh, that initial layer in, just kind of finding a few basic darts, which are going to help to make the light or the... Uh, the planes turn, the light's coming in from the right, and so the shadows are falling on the left. Um, and I'm pushing the realism in this one a little bit more, I'm adding more detail, so the, the eyelashes, for example, I'm going to include here, and then the iris uh, becomes very narrow because it is turned. So again, we're getting that elliptical shape which is something else which I talked about in the first video. So if you didn't see that video, um, I would recommend taking a look at that because I kind of broke down the structure a little more specifically than I am in this video. I'm just kind of uh, moving a little bit faster through this. I've sped these videos up and um, I'm just trying to you know, pack a lot of information into this. So if you want more of the, the, you know, the specific anatomy of the eye, I would look at that first video. Uh, okay, so now I'm just sped up again, and I'm, I'm uh, adding very fine details. I, I want to, you know, again, push this to a very hyper-realistic level. So I'm looking at um, the pores of the skin, those little highlights that I put on the upper eyelid, looking at the highlights in the iris, and then looking at the highlight along that lower ridge. Um, and I'm always looking at those values. What's the brightest? what's next, brightest, and then, you know, start looking also at the darks, what's the darkest, uh, what's the mid-tone. So the eyelids, I'll just kind of briefly go through this again. One of the things that you get here is the eyelids are turning around the eyeball. So the, you know, what you see is something like this. Their planes are turning this way. And the, the outer corner of the eye is hidden because the eyeball overlaps it. 
sitting in front of that corner. So all we see are those planes kind of disappearing behind the curve of the eyeball. And that's something that you get with, uh, with that angle in particular. Um, it's a tricky angle of all three of these. That, that angle is probably the hardest. But uh, I just kind of zoomed out so I can show you all three of the, the eyes that I just drew once again. Very, very different. Each eye is different. The shapes of the eyelids are very different on each one of those. But the, the thing that is the same is the fact that every single one of those looks like a sphere. Uh, so you always want to go back to that basic idea of the eye being a sphere and then thinking about how the eyelids conform to the shape of that sphere. And that will determine how you draw your eyelids. Um, you don't want to get into the habit of drawing like almond shapes or um, you know, just kind of making them the same every time you, you draw an eye. You want to look at the person that you're drawing, look at what their eyelids are doing, and also think about the angle that you're looking at the eye from, because that will determine um, the, the shape of the eye as well. So I hope that you enjoyed the lesson, um, and I hope to see you again soon.